Hello, this is Marty Johnson. I'm the founder of Total Health Nutrition Center and one of the practitioners here as well in our clinic. And uh, here to just share with you today um, a little bit, I guess you could call it a health tip um, or a clinical pearl, if you want to call it that, that I'd like to share with you. Um, it's fresh in my mind because it just recently came up with one of my clients who was having a lot of structural issues, meaning um, her hips were not, uh, or her hips were hurting, her lower back was hurting, and uh, she was going to chiropractors and trying to, you know, get this result, but she would feel better after maybe... Uh, a day or two after her adjustment and then it would go right back out again and she'd have the same issues, structural issues. So I want to kind of share with you what uh, we found with her and what I find with different people um, that might be a blessing to you as well. So in your body, uh, right above your kidneys, we have what's called the adrenal glands. There's two kidneys in your body and two adrenal glands and right here um, on this picture, the kidneys are below and the adrenal glands literally sit right on top of the kidneys. So just to give you a visual. But these small glands about the size of a walnut really play a huge role in many, many things. Blood sugar regulation, your energy level, you probably heard of adrenaline, which is produced by the adrenals. So the adrenals are responding to everything that we do stress-wise, whether it's good or bad stress, including dietary stress. So when we eat too many carbohydrates and sugars that stresses the adrenals because they have to play a role in helping the liver metabolize glucose. So anyway, these guys, uh, these adrenals really um, take a beating, uh, especially with uh, many of our fast paced lifestyles, meaning there's a lot of pressures, work, kids, uh, doing a lot of things that, uh, and then maybe not even getting enough sleep. So after a while, these adrenal glands can start to diminish in their function and many, many different symptoms can take place from fatigue to, uh, in the initial phase, even some anxiety uh, and fatigue at the same time where you're feeling anxious and I call it wired and tired. Uh, people can have sleep disruption where they're falling asleep and not staying asleep. But the purpose of this particular video is uh, people will start to actually have what's called ligament lax. And uh, ligament lax is really exactly how it sounds. The ligaments in your body are just more lax. They're not as, uh, they don't have the tonicity. They don't hold things together as well. So you're more likely, your structure is more likely not to hold together as well. Um, in severe cases of adrenal stress and ligament lax, people can be walking along and more easily just roll their ankle because the uh, ligaments aren't holding things as stable or tweak your knee. Um, but with this client I was telling you about as an example with their hips and back, uh, what can also happen is a pattern where the ligament called the inguinal ligament, which is right in the groin area, a lot of people end up with inguinal hernia as they're called um, right in that area. But um, inguinal ligament, on, especially more so on the right side, will tighten up when the adrenals are stressed and it'll start to pull the hips. So the right the right side of the hip or the right hip will actually pull up more and consequently the left hip is down so it'll be kind of cocked in a in a minor sense and that obviously throws off your back and, and the hips and everything else. Matter of fact if someone laid down and we stretched out the legs you'd see that one leg would look longer than the other. Well it's not literally longer but the hips are cocked that way and it looks that way but you can imagine when you're walking that way that it can be really a stress on your structure. So um, this is what happened with this client is uh, her adrenal stress was as such where it was creating this disruption or pulling on that inguinal ligament, consequently affecting her hips. And um, she would get adjusted and when everything was lined up from being adjusted with the chiropractor, uh, it, you know, she felt great, you know, for, for a while. And because that ligament is still pulling, you never really fix the root cause. The adjustment helps, but if you don't fix the root cause, like the adrenals in her case, um, you know, within a day or so, uh, it was just pulling right back out again and she's in the same boat. So we see this many times where people might be going to the chiropractor for, you know, two or three times a week even, um, and just not seem, seeming to be able to hold their adjustments. Uh, please don't get me wrong, I'm not saying anything 
wrong about the chiropractor. They're doing their job. It's just that from a clinical nutritional standpoint or a holistic medicine standpoint, um, we're looking at things in, in a whole manner, in a different manner, and many times complementary, we can come alongside of uh, you know, what a chiropractor is doing and, and help tremendously. Uh, many other examples of things that can affect structure uh, when certain organs are out of balance, but wanted to share with you this adrenal um, issue and what we call ligament lax and really, really could make a big difference in a lot of people's lives if we just are able to fix the adrenal. So if you're interested, if you have this issue and you're interested in getting help in that, just give us a call. 262-251-2929 um, is our office number. Or you can go to our website. Um, it's Total Health Inc., totalhealthinc.com. And you can look at our uh, clinic uh, options and uh, contact us through that means as well. So thank you very much. Thank you for allowing me to share this with you. Um, and we'll look forward to seeing you on a different video. Um, and thank you. Well, goodbye.